I just wanted to show you uh, some of the changes I've done to my my uh, Skywalker in the last little while. Uh, one thing that I don't know that I've talked about is this little thing right here is a voltage regulator, but it's a it's an adjustable voltage regulator. Right where my finger is, there's a little screw there, and uh, so I'm going from the voltage of uh, a four cell battery and I wanted to cut it back to uh, 12 volts or a little bit I think I'm running 11 and a half volts to my for my camera and my OSD and all that kind of stuff so I actually bought this at uh, I think it was highmodels.com uh, and it, it wasn't terribly expensive uh, I don't recall exactly what it was but uh, I just adjusted the voltage to what I want. It's worked perfectly. So now I just run off of uh, the one main battery pack, which is a 5,000 milliamp four cell setup. Instead of having the third battery in there, like I started the whole uh, FPV system powering it separate. But now this thing works uh, works great. Uh, it, I don't think it was, I don't know, I can't remember if it was five bucks or ten bucks, but it was, it wasn't expensive anyways. So anyways, there's that. And one other thing is, uh, this Sony Webby is what I've been filming the HD videos in my flights. Um, they're a few years old now. They're HD. They have a, a swivel lens. Uh, they'll do 1080i I think it is but I, I set it for uh, 720p for YouTube and um, you can push record and they'll go for 25 minutes and then they'll shut off and they make a pretty good video. They weigh about, I think I weighed it at about five ounces, five and a half ounces or something like that. Uh, you can go on eBay or places like that and pick them up second hand. That's where I got this one um, for, you know, anywhere from 40 to $70. Uh, they have a built-in, a built-in, um, battery, uh, lithium polymer battery, right here, it's a little too much to work with one hand, but there's a lithium polymer battery and then the uh, video card at the bottom. Um, this one was in a really bad crash on the original uh, Hobby King EPP FBV and it knocked the front part of the lens out, it's just a cover and it took some wicked scratches and dents and stuff and it still works perfectly fine so that's what I do, I just stick it on there with velcro and uh, you know what I'm seeing is through this camera which is normally there, I've got it off um, but the HD videos are coming from this and my new plan now is I can plug this cord into I can plug this cord into my Webby. Um, I've made a, a little adapter so I can plug it into my uh, video transmitter, and it'll record onto the HD card as well as transmit video and the other day I bought this little device it's um, I got it from new aid uh, new generation hobbies it's called a mini video switch and what it does is it you can switch with a servo or with not with a servo with a switch from your uh, any channel or 
um, off your transmitter, off your receiver, I guess. You can switch bes between this as your camera or this down here. And if it goes into default, um, it'll automatically default back to you. There's an, it's called A and B, so it'll default back to this camera if you set it up that way. So if it goes into return to home, uh, you'll have the view from here if you set it up that way, or you could have it this view, whatever, whatever you decide. But uh, it's just got a servo uh, lead on one end, which I'm gonna actually, the way I'm gonna try hook it up is I'm gonna Y harness into the tilt pan and I want to set it up so when I tilt the camera down it activates this which will turn the Sony Webby on and when I pan back up again to my normal mode of viewing with this camera it'll shut the Sony Webby off and come back to this and it'll also have the OSD on on both coming down to me uh, but this will record um, unaffected. It still just records uh, HD video. So I just have to make a few. I just have to make a Y harness and an adapter lead and set this up. Um, it's going to be a few days probably before I do it. Uh, actually, uh, probably going on a holiday here pretty soon, and I'm might be doing some FPV videos then um, so I might take this uh, in my spare time uh, wire it up and get it going then so you might not see it in action for a month or something like that but I just picked this stuff up and I thought somebody might be interested so anyways that's uh, what I got to talk about today